All right, some local reaction now to this big news story. Joined now by former prosecutor Laura Canazera Rodriguez. You handled high profile sex crimes right here in the city of New Orleans. First off, your reaction as a prosecutor to this decision involving Bill Cosby. Well, this is certainly devastating news. Um, it's devastating for the prosecution. It's even more devastating for the victims who, uh, you know, after a long and very difficult trial, uh, cases involving sex crimes are the most difficult for victims. They almost become re-victimized in the trial process, thinking that they finally uh, were handed justice to whatever extent they can get justice at this point, and now it being ripped from underneath them is devastating. What do prosecutors, what can prosecutors in Pennsylvania do from here? You know, this is a this is a pretty uh, heavy blow for them. Um, it does not, it doesn't give the hopeful opinion that there would be much they could do from here, but they can go to the United States Supreme Court and try to seek some sort of recourse there in appealing this decision. Um, it's certainly not, uh, they probably are not very optimistic about that, but it is an option from here on. Really quickly, final question here. This whole thing was bounced out because they successfully made the case, Cosby and his team, that he was promised to come in and granted immunity and then what he said was used against him. How common or uncommon is something like that here in Metro New Orleans? Really quickly, because we are running out of time. That's not very common, I have to say. You rarely would see people granted immunity. It's very hard to get immunity um, given to anybody facing potential criminal charges. And it's even less likely that somebody would be granted immunity and then it would not be given to them or it would be falsely given to them. So that's not very common. You do not see that very often. Um, that is why I think the Supreme Court, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled this way. All right, we appreciate your time. Laura Canazero Rodriguez, former prosecutor now with the law firm Rodriguez and their court.